right, scrappy people, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with another of my Smash Your Stash series. Today I'm going to be making a um, envelope mini album using some envelopes from my stash. These are just, bye Abby, these are just regular old Target up and up envelopes that I had sitting in my stash and I'm going to be pairing it with my Simple Stories So Happy Together line. This is another of the lines that I have sitting in my stash just waiting to be used um, and I did use a whole heck of a lot of the 12 by 12 papers um, for this album. So these envelopes are about 9 and 7 sixteenths of an inch by 4 and an eighth of an inch. So, um, I have trimmed down these papers to nine and three eighths of an inch by three and seven eighths of an inch. And what that does is it gives me a little border to work with top, bottom and sides. Um, just because I liked the look of having a little border. That's all. Um, you could do full page if you wanted to. I chose not to. So this is actually a really easy assembly for this album. We have, um, eight envelopes here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're going to bend the flap backwards, and then we are going to tuck in this envelope. Sorry about my dryer, you guys forgot it was running. Tuck in the flap of this envelope to the flap of the envelope before it. And then you just wanna put some adhesive down. I'm just gonna use my ATG and stick it right there. And then you repeat the process with the next envelope and these can get wrinkly they can get a little messy because we are going to be covering them up because these are really cheap envelopes so they're going to get messy regardless so i'm going to fast forward this while i speed through Okay, now that I have put this all together and used the back envelope flap as the binding, I'm going to start putting these papers on. This is going to be the front cover. I decided to go with a heart for the front cover. And then I'm gonna work my way through this stack of papers. And the trick is to keep this as a pocket to only put your adhesive here on the top flap of the pocket, not putting any here. And then you can use a um, circle punch or any kind of pattern, or I mean, you know, any kind of punch you want to use to create a little pocket um, hole if you want. I think I'm gonna use a one and a half inch, or one inch, no, that was one inch, this is one and a half inch. One and a half inch, half circle for mine. So then I'm going to put the adhesive on the envelope instead of the paper so that I can make sure that it does not get where I don't want it to be. Ooh, be careful with these cheap envelopes. It's okay, when I put the other paper there, it'll be all right. And now we have a pocket. Okay, so I'm gonna work my way through the rest of this, putting down papers as I go.
Okay, so it is all assembled and ready for scrapbooking or whatever it is I wanna use this for. I chose not to make some pages pockets just because. So I've got a couple that are not pockets and the front and back cover. Thinking about this, if I would do it again, I'd probably leave less of a border Maybe not. I'm not sure. It'll depend on what it looks like when I'm all done done. But I'm going to add like a card to the cover of this and see where we're at.
here is the finished album. And uh, this is definitely um, a learning curve because I branched out and did a little bit more than what I normally do. So it's here's my album, Warts and All, although uh, I'm pretty sure you can't really see the warts. <laughs> so uh, here we have, I stuck a, oh, I forgot to make this one into a tag. Look at that, warts and all. <laughs> uh, I stuck a tag in every single one of these pockets to be able to put, um, you know, either journaling or pictures on and tuck them away. And then I tried to go through every single page and just make sure that there was something interesting on the page. So I used these bows in these two places and a couple places. Had a journaling card in here that I will um, figure out how to adhere when I'm ready to put the album together. This one has a fun different pocket that I created after the fact and this cute tag. I was struggling real hard with where to put those hearts. I'm glad I found a place for them. I really wanted them stacked on top of each other like that. Here is this page. Some of them I left intentionally sort of blank because uh, I'm not a big, like even in December daily, I'm not a big foundation pages person. So I don't like to have too much done beforehand. So that was a problem with creating a mini album beforehand. I wonder why this keeps sticking. I'm going to have to figure that out. Ah, there's glue. That's why. Okay, I'll figure that out. I like this doily wrapped around both sides of the page. I thought that was a fun addition. Got a yellow tag in here. And I ended up using a good majority of the paper in the collection. I have a lot of scraps left, but not too many. I need to figure out what to do with them. Here's another different style of pocket. So the ones that I ended up not putting pockets on this way, I ended up putting pockets on the other side of the page or in a different way, which is good. It kind of just changes things up. Got hello love down here at the bottom. And then the back with the doily on it. So yeah, that is my envelope mini album. I hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, like this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you're interested in more sort of mini albums and using up your stash sort of videos, let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. All right, thank you.